One, Jorgen Klub once said about Philippe Coutinho, we tried everything to convince him to stay, but when he was no longer focused, we had to let him go. We had to let him follow his dreams of playing for Barcelona. And of course, the money was good. Coutinho was sold for 146 million pounds. Now being a genius manager, Klub didn't allow the club to be devastated by the departure of the team's key player and playmaker, and he used Coutinho's money to make two of the most important signings in Liverpool's entire history, Virgil van Dijk and Alison Becker. Both of them have been an essential part in helping Liverpool win every single trophy out there. 2. Liverpool were kind of a mess when Klopp took over, where it had been years since they'd won any trophy. And despite not having the financial backing of Manchester City, Manchester United and Chelsea, that didn't stop Klopp from revolutionizing Liverpool. First, no team in the world was able to stop his attacking trio Mo Salah, Firmino and Sadio Mane. Second, through players who many wouldn't think of as stars like Henderson, Keita, Fabinho, Vinaldom and old man Milner, his midfield became one of the best in Europe. And third, his main man Van Dijk wasn't just a rock in defense, but for a defender, he was runner up for the best FIFA men's player and the Ballon d'Or. Three, he formed the current greatest coaching rival because he not only gave Guardiola a run for his money, both at Dortmund and at Liverpool, but Jorgen's winning record against Pep is driven by his 4-3-3 formation, and that proved to be better and more effective than Guardiola's 3-2-4-1 formation. And while Pep very often has fallouts and drives his own players to just leave the club, club's warm relationship with his boys, as he would call them, seems to be really helping to get the best out of each and every one of them. Four, that warm relationship with everybody at the club made Jorgen Klub not just the most likable person in the entire city of Liverpool, but maybe the whole football world. He was a really cool dude, but at the same time, he would be ruthless when he needed to be. He did not hesitate for a second in getting rid of goalkeeper Loris Karius after he lost the Champions League final versus Real Madrid, and he chose a goalkeeper, Alison Becker, who has made so many crucial saves to help Liverpool become the team they are today. So with Liverpool currently competing for every single trophy they're playing for, the EFL Cup, FA Cup, the Premier League and the Europa League, I really hope that the players will be men and not boys and send off Jorgen Klub in the best way possible after everything he's done for Liverpool. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts and comments below, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!